is up, everybody? Zachman18 here. Welcome back to the WTZM TV Channel 18 Superstation. It is time for the next episode of Game & Watch 2013. Today is Tuesday, February 26, 2013, 4.55 p.m. And as you can see on the top right of your screen, I have Tim Mr. Wamizuna with us. Hello. And uh, today, he is joining me for a, yet another Game & Watch episode. We're going to be playing the Countdown Letters Challenge. This is actually based off the uh, Countdown Game Show that's going on on uh, the British Broadcasting Network, or BBC, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, it's basically they're basically just calling it Countdown Letters Challenge. Uh, they actually just recently uh, released this, so uh, this is actually a pretty recent uh, game. So I'm going to let Tim have a go at it. We're going to kind of do a kind of a tag team type thing. So uh, let's jump right into it and have some fun. Oh, I can't have an ampersand. How about them apples? <laughs> Let's see. There's <laughs> so and and what's kind of cool is you can do a male or female voice. So we're new male. So at least I think. Oh, so. At least I. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's play the game. It's time for the first letter. Bro. All right. I'm actually gonna move Tim down one. I'll be right back. All right. Now he's on the bottom right. Isn't that lovely? All right. <laughs> anyways, it is time for the first round. This is the first letters round. Uh, we, me and Tim actually just played a practice game before this episode, so we kind of, uh, I kind of already explained to him how this works. Um, so we get to select, uh, vowels and consonants and try to form the longest possible word. And I guess there's not a least for everything, so I guess you can pick random ones. So we're going to get started right away. Tim, get started. Vowel. Okay. A vowel, please. I'm going to turn up the volume for you guys a little bit. An E is what is your vowel. In our first game, me and Tim got a lot of eyes, so let's hope that doesn't happen again. Consonant. Okay. Um, consonant. An F. Wow. E F G H I T K L M N O P. E again. <laughs> I will laugh if it's E F E F. Consonant. Consonant. C. Okay. Consonant. And another. P. Ow. That was way different than I thought it was. <laughs> Foul. Yeah! <laughs> Surprise! Consonant! Oh, wow. Consonant, please. M. Vowel. Oh, God. A vowel, please. A. Okay, good. And a consonant. Okay. Consonant, please. 30 seconds L. on the clock. Alright, 30 seconds, Let's Tim. We gotta try to make uh, as many words as we can out of these. Here we go. Meal. Okay. M-E-A-L. Okay, uh, peel, P-E-L, um, uh, feel, F-E-E-L. I want leak. What's that? Leak, L-E-E-P. L-E-E-P. Or no, L-E-A-P. Got a last second word there. So we got meal, peel, feel, leap, and leap. The <laughs> actual... <laughs> And uh, we submitted. Oh, we actually got all of them. Uh, in place was the so. It's, this is really cool uh, because they tell you what the longest word they. Have. It's I think they've got like some kind of generator like built into the actual game that can just kind of like say what the longest word is. And what's kind of cool here, uh, it has a little dictionary thing. You can actually it'll actually take you to dictionary.com and it'll give you the definitions just in case you don't know what those words mean. Um, so we got eight points so far. Tim, we're off to a pretty good start. Let's get uh, let's continue on. Here's your tea time teaser. Time for the tea time teaser. This is round two. Uh, tea time for Tim. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so in this round, <laughs> uh, we're trying to unscramble an eight-letter word in thirty seconds or less for a total of twenty-five bonus points. So uh, they've they've already they are already gonna pick uh, eight eight letters for us. So let's see if we can do it. And we only get one guess on this. So here we go. Here's our eight letters. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's count down. And here we go. I'm all clear. Okay, so we got clear yeah. in our mind. Yeah, or yeah. Yeah. I just want to see if we can make a bigger letter out of that, though. <laughs> now he's dancing the music. It is pretty Snail? catchy. What's that? Snail's a word, too. Snail is S N A I L. I'm talking about S A L E Snail, silly. Alright, I think we'll do. Let's try clears. I think that's a word. Cleanser was the correct answer. So 
So we didn't. Well, I guess we don't get any points for that. All right, we got to They play an advertising, so we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Today's episode is brought to you by a ripoff of Sims. Anyways, <laughs> time for the second letters round. Uh, Tim has been dancing to the music on the commercial, and uh, yeah, you are a Sim. Anyways, hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Uh, this is the second letters round. The same rules apply. We have to find the longest word. Uh, we get bonus points for valid words. Tim, get started. Okay. Consonant. Okay. Um, consonant. N. Consonant. And another. G. Vowel. Mm, vowel. E. Vowel. Oh, God. And another. Oh, <laughs> Consonant. Oh. Um, consonant. N. Consonant. And another. S. Bow. If a D and U come up, we can make dungeons out of it. And. Oh, you said another. vowel, sorry. B. L will do a vowel. Mm, vowel. A. All. Oh. oh, well. Well, vowel is wrapping up with a vowel. What the heck? Okay. And another. An A. Got 30 seconds. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, bang. <laughs> um, uh, sang. Uh, bong. <laughs> um, bah. <laughs> um, Sano, I don't even know if that's a word. Anyways, uh, we got four valid words. <laughs> Did we actually get? Oh, okay, well, that was weird. Nose bag was the longest <laughs> word. <laughs> oh man, oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> what the heck is a nose bag? You know what? Let's look that up right now. A bag fastened around the head of a horse and covering the nose. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't know it. I didn't know it had a name for that. Yeah, Tim needs to wear a nose bag. Anyways, it's time. For the hey, round. hey. <laughs> All right, round four. <laughs> we're in right now. Uh, this is the challenge round. Uh, if we find six or more, oh, I thought it was seven. Wasn't it seven, Tim? Uh, I think. Okay. Anyways, uh, if we find six or more valid words, we get a twenty-five point bonus. So we're just gonna screw the long word and just go for the short, easy words. So, Tim, let's get some good letters up there. Consonant. Um, consonant. T. Consonant. And another. T. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's T-ville time. Vowel. A vowel, please. E. And a vowel. And another. A. Consonant. T time. Consonant. R. R. Oh, we got T here. Consonant. And another. What teary? That's a good. That's another one too. Vowel. Mm, vowel. I. That's for the letter of course. <laughs> How dare you! Ah, uh, vowel. My God. Another. E. And a consonant to wrap it up. Uh. Consonant, please. Three All right, we got to be really fast here. Let's count down. Okay, so we have T. We have a tear. How about tears with an S? Tears with an S. We have tier e. Year. We have year. We have years with an s. And I think t's may be a word. I don't know. And then t e e. And then let's try t. I don't even know that's a word. Uh, did we get it? Thank you. Yeah, we got it. And we got we got a medal. We got the ch uh, we beat the challenge, so we got uh, ten points for that. And uh, we're up to fifty two points, Tim. Actually, in the in our warm up game, I think you got like twenty four. So we're doing we're doing much better. So uh, treatise. What the heck does that mean? A formal and systematic exposition and writing of the principles of a subject, generally longer and more whatever. All right. Here is. 
Countdown. Time for the countdown conundrum. This is the big one. Uh, we have one chance to solve the nine-letter word in less than 30 seconds for a total of 50 bonus points. Tim, if we do this, we'll be over 100 points. So, here we go. Okay, here's the countdown clock. You gotta focus here. I know it's not long, but it's a tree. It's a tree. Battery, but I can't spell it. <laughs> Scary tree. Oh, secretary. Oh my gosh. I had to do it. That was actually perfect. Scary tree. Hey Tim, uh that uh I gotta talk to you about that tree outside. It freaks the heck out of me. It's so scary. Secretary. So we got 52 points, and that is it for Countdown Letters Challenge. We'll submit our score. We got a bronze medal. So the most somebody's gotten is 233. Wow, that's pretty good. I love this music. I love uh, Countdown. It's a pretty fun game show. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do this again on a future weekend celebration or something like that. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, maybe Tim will do this for his game show marathon that he's doing right now. And here's the ripoff of Sims again. I'm going to pause it right here. All right, guys. So, I, I had to skip the ad, the dumb ad there. Uh, let's go to the credits here. Those aren't credits. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Cory Anatato, he's the maker of all these uh, fun pack dude games uh, games on here. So, uh, he's a really talented guy. I mean, he made all of these. He made the Blockbusters, Countdown, Done Deal, Drop the Bomb, Lightspeed 2, Meal or No Meal, in which Tim is actually thinking about doing a Meal or No Meal tournament pretty soon. So, uh, go check that out. Uh, take your pick. And, uh, yeah, all of those are very similar, or very uh, familiar to this channel. So thanks everybody for watching today's episode of Game & Watch 2013 for the Countdown Letters Challenge. As always, I'm Zach and the team. And I will see you guys in my next video coming very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Let's dance our way out of the episode. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, Tim. You were moving your head a little bit there. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Let's end this before this gets any more awkward than it already has. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>